Hello YouTube, Calc Programmer one here, and today I'm going to demonstrate the current progress of the Raspberry Pi Video Core 4 uh, VC4 driver. It is the open source Mesa driver for the Broadcom Video Core 4 graphics uh, core that is used in both the Raspberry Pi Model 1 and Model 2 uh, chip. Um, there's a test build available that I've downloaded and loaded to my SD card already. Uh, I'll post a link in the description for that if you want to go flash it and try it out on your own. But I've tried it on um, my Model B Plus and my uh, Model 2. And right now it only works on the Model 2. So if you have an original V1 Pi, whether that's the B Plus, the B A, or the Pi Zero, uh, it probably won't work for you right now, but if you have the Model 2B, it will work. And so what it is, is a fully functional, almost fully functional um, video driver. That means it'll work for any OpenGL supporting program. So most games, applications, anything in the repositories will work. No longer do you have to have a special compiled version just for the Raspberry Pi like is the case with the current proprietary driver. Uh, it, this new driver is expected to replace the proprietary driver in Raspbian um, several months down the road, I think. It's not merged in yet, so if you want to use it now, you have to get this test build. So I'm going to demonstrate a few different things on it, including running um, an old favorite game of mine, Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. Uh, which has been brought back to life via the OpenJK project. I'll put a link in the description to that as well. And yes, I have been able to build it on ARM and make it run on ARM. So I'm going to power this up and we'll see what happens. The other thing is this now has a kernel mode setting driver, KMS. So any display you connect will automatically be set up and handled through KMS, which is really nice. So, boot it up nice and quick. We're into the uh, Raspbian uh, LXDE, I think this is. I don't usually use it. I use Mate. but So we're going to go ahead and just make sure we've got Mesa and OpenGL working. So like any other video driver, what you can do is glxinfo pipe grep renderer and what you should see is gallium on VC4 VC4 being the name of the new video core for driver and to confirm it's working we can go ahead and do GLX gears which is working it, it is a little flickery uh, that's something that they still need to work out right now. It seems like any other screen update causes it to flicker a little bit. But we're running at 60 frames a second right now. If we full screen it, the flickering gets a bit worse. And we get around 40, 37, 40 frames a second. So then another uh, graphics demo I like to do is the X, the uh, really slick screensavers, the RSS GLX package. So they are located in slash user lib x screensaver and then the one I like is lattice with the dash dash tasty flag. That gives you flying donuts. And this is a, another simple OpenGL application that I use when I test graphics drivers on anything, desktop or mobile. It is, a, I think, OpenGL either 1.0 or 2.0. So that works. And now for the one that I was really interested in, to see if the Raspberry Pi was capable of running one of my favorite games from the early 2000s, which is Jedi Academy. 
And I remember I used to play this game on a um, NVIDIA GeForce 4 MX420, uh, like 1024 by 768 got decent frame rates on it. That was uh, back in 2005 or so. So, 10 years later, let's see how this little $35 computer can pair up against that system I used to play this game on. So I went ahead and built it already. Um, I used a distributed compiling with DistCC and a cross compiler to speed up the build. So open JK dot arm. So here's my settings. Video mode 800 by 600, uh, default, full screen off, geometry detail high, texture detail low. I turned that down because I was running out of uh, VRAM. Texture quality default, texture filter bilinear, shaders off, video sync off. So kind of basic settings just to see if it'll work. Okay, so it gets into the game. Right off the bat, we have around 30 frames a second at the main menu, the character select menu. We can use the character creator. The 3D model does render. It seems to be pretty fast at updating. Let's pick a Saber. So all of these 3D models that is rendering on the menu seem to be working. Now let's join the game. So, I'm actually really impressed at how well this is running for being a Raspberry Pi. Something that, for the past, since it's come out in 2012, we basically assumed that it was pretty much worthless as far as video acceleration goes. Unless you wanted to spend a lot of time porting your game to OpenGLES and... Uh, building it against the proprietary drivers and all of that. Whereas now with the new VC4 driver, all you got to do is build it against the standard versions of OpenGL that every other Linux system uses, and it'll play just fine. And it's running quite well for a, a $35 little mini PC. Let's go ahead and try another map. This is one of the single player maps I remember it was really popular on multiplayer servers. And I enabled cheats, so let's see if I remember the commands to spawn vehicles. And we can try flying around. This level makes pretty heavy use of the fog effect, which seems to be working.
As for the, the speeder bike being all white and untextured, that is a, an issue with the game, not the graphics driver. Uh, even in the uh, retail release it was like that. And the grass seems to work. Go ahead and try a bit higher resolution just to see how it goes. There is still some weird flickering occasionally where the whole screen will just flash white. Not sure what's causing that. A little bit laggier at 768, but still pretty playable for a Raspberry Pi. Oh so, uh, yeah, effects not good. Makes it lag. But yeah, overall, it's running pretty well, especially for a pretty early build of the uh, GPU driver. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed with that. Good work, Broadcom. Good work, Eric and Hold at Broadcom, who's been working on this for two years, I think. Runs great. Makes the Raspberry Pi a lot more feasible as a uh, desktop type machine than just an embedded computer. Whenever you have uh, OpenGL and acceleration, the thing I don't have on here right now, but I've tested it in the past on a previous build, was Cura, the 3D printing software that uses an OpenGL window for its 3D model preview and I was able to run it on this driver no problem so if you want to use your Pi as a 3D printing uh, computer with this new driver Cura will work great for you which is really cool so yeah that's been a quick review of the VC4 driver for the Raspberry Pi thanks everyone for watching
See you next time.